In this video, I'll do a review of Designer, a product by the folks at Page One Traffic. I'll take you inside the members area. I'll show you how it works. We'll go over their pricing options. And lastly, I'll give you my personal opinion on Designer. So if you're ready, let's dive right in. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on my future content. And don't forget to click on the link below to sign up for my number one recommendation to start your online business. It's 100% free and 1000% awesome. All right, let's get down to business. So what is Designer? Designer says it will help you to create stunning eBooks and reports in two minutes without writing a word. No design or technical skills required. Designer is cloud-based, so there's no need to install software on your computer. Creating an ebook is done in four steps that I'll go over when we hop inside the members area. Who is Designer a good fit for? Designer is perfect for anyone who is looking to grow their email list faster by offering up a well-designed lead magnet. You can also use Designer to create and sell your own eBooks either on your website or in an e-commerce store. And if you're trying to generate more traffic, who isn't, then use Designer to publish eBooks and content to directories and websites. Now, speaking of lead magnets, if you're interested in some free training on how to create a killer lead magnet, then click on the link in the description to get access to the best training out there. All right, so we are now inside the members area of Designer, and I just wanna give you a quick tour around. So these are all the projects that you've created. Your drafts are gonna be located here. The media manager is where you're gonna be able to upload images. You can search for images. You can upload your own cover images. And you, if you have the URL of the image, you can add it in here, and Designer will go out and fetch that image for you. Now, when it comes to support, there's a couple of areas that you can get support. All you have to do is click on this help tab right here and you get access to their knowledge base right here with a lot of handy tutorials and videos for you to follow. Also, you can take a tour right here and, and when you first log in to Designer, you'll be able to take a tour of the members area. This video will teach you everything you need to know about the members area, so I urge you to watch that. Also, one thing that I really was impressed by was this help us make designer better feature right here. So you can record your session and provide them with information and they'll take that into consideration in improving the overall experience of designer. So this tells me that these guys really care about what their customers say and they wanna make their experience better. Down here, they have a chat icon. If you click on that, it activates the designer chat bot. And from here, you can send them a message and they will reply to you in under two hours. Also, you can get access to their knowledge base from here as well. So let's go ahead and start creating a new project. I'm just letting you know, this is not gonna be a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to edit and, and, and do the fine tuning of a project. I just wanna show you how simple it is to use. Now, all you do is click on new project right here. And from here, you have a number of ways to import the information that you want to add to your project template. And the ones that have these, these padlocks on them require me to upgrade to a higher plan. So that's something that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later on after I walk through this demo. So right now with the standard plan that I'm on for the $27 one-time fee, I have access to import from a blog post or the URL. I can import from a Word doc, import from a Google doc. I can start from a template. I can go from a Google doc to a PDF, from a PDF to a flipbook, which is what I'm gonna show you, which is really, really cool. You can go from blog post to PDF. You can start from scratch or you can import from a Facebook page. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with this one right here, which is import from a blog post URL. So from here, all I have to do is drop the URL of the blog post in here. So we're gonna go into my WordPress dashboard here and I'm in my posts and I wanna pull the, or grab the URL right here and I'm gonna drop it into Designer. And from here, I'm gonna fetch that information and it's pretty quick. 
So that just happened like in a split second. And when I, I'm satisfied, I, this is the article that I want. I'm just gonna click on next. And from here, we're gonna choose a template. So they have a plain vanilla template, which is a standard. You can edit as you go. And they also have all these other templates here. So you can choose from a bunch of different templates. Again, I'm on a standard plan, so I have access to a hundred of these templates. And if you upgrade to higher plans, then you'll have access to more of these templates as well as different cover art as well, which is one of the reasons why you might want to upgrade. I want to go ahead, I'm just going to do a search for email because the article, the post that I am pulling is a an article about email. So we're going to go in here and this happens to be an email marketing template. So we're going to just use this one. And what, it, what they're going to do is they're going to grab the information, they're going to put it into the template. And as you can see, that happened very, very quickly. And as I scroll through this, look, this looks really, really nice. It looks very professional. And I can tell that this is something that people, when they look at, they're going to be impressed by. And that's one of the things is when you're when you have an ebook or when you have, let's say you're building a lead magnet, you want to provide value, but also too, you you want to have that 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 really good first impression. And if yours doesn't look that good and, and it just looks like it was basically a Word document that you that you turned into a PDF, that's not really the impression that you want to make. So you can customize all of this stuff, the colors and everything to match your brand. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and do all that stuff, but I just wanna show you a couple of things that you can do within Designer. It's Cause there's a ton of different things that you can do. I could probably create tutorial videos and I, I may consider doing that at a later date. But simple things, as you, as you hover over this, you can see that everything is contained in blocks. So if you're familiar with page builders, or if you are familiar with desktop publishing apps, and this is something that you're gonna pick up very quickly. So I'm, I'm used to page builders, I'm used to working in blocks. So this was a natural progression for me. It was easy to find my way around and edit. So I just wanna show you some things right here. Like for instance, if I wanna change the color of this text, I can just go ahead and change that to a color, a different color. And it's very fast, it's very easy. If I wanna change the font, I can do that as well. So you can see that it's it's everything is right at your fingertips and it's very simple to use. Now, one thing that I really liked is that they have universal change, which means that if I change one thing, one of these paragraphs, like for instance, if I want to change the font, I can change the font for all of the paragraphs. I'm gonna show you in just a second here. So first of all, if I just want to change the font for this particular paragraph, I can change that to, let's change this to this font right here. So it just changed that one particular paragraph. But what happens if I want to change all of the paragraphs to match this font? All I do is I can go and make changes to all the elements right here. And I can go and choose that particular font. And once I select it, it changes all the fonts throughout the entire document, which is really impressive because now I don't have to go through each paragraph and change the font individually. I can do it all at once. So that's the level of thought that went into designer. Now you can add other elements in here as well. So by going up here to this plus icon, I can add different types of elements. I can add a CTA, a call to action if I want to. All I have to do is drag and drop it in here and I can add that in here with a link. So if I wanna send them to another squeeze page, for example, or a landing page, I can do that. If I wanna add in an image, and we're gonna do that right now, we're gonna go back in here, we're gonna add in some media. I can add in a video if I want to, but I'm gonna add in an image. So we're gonna add it in between these two paragraphs. And I wanna go ahead and search for something so we're just gonna type in laptop, do a search right here, and it pulls up a bunch of different images. I'm gonna go with this one right here, and designer will drop that image into my document right there. So you can see how easy it is. If I wanna resize it, all I do is just grab one of these corners right here and I can resize the corners. So it makes it very convenient, very easy to add elements to edit. 
Now, keep in mind, this is something that's going to take time for you to understand how to use. There's so many different nuances to designer that it's going to take a little while for you to get acclimated to all of them. But initially, for me, someone who is used to page builders, I picked this up very quickly and it wouldn't it won't take me too long to be able to really get to a point where I understand how to use most of this. But for some of you, if you're new and you're not familiar with this stuff, just be patient as you go through this. Take your time, experiment, and go through all the different help articles and tutorials to learn how to use this. Now, one thing that, that I wanna show you is how to publish to a PDF as well as the, the flip book option or the flip book feature which is available on the base plan here. So when you're ready to publish, all you do is click on the publish button right here. And you can see again, I'm locked out from some of these other features I would have to upgrade, but I just wanna show you how easy it is just to export it into a PDF. So we're just gonna click on export, let designer do its thing. And when we're ready, we're gonna take a look at our PDF file. So it says our ebook is ready. So we're gonna click on download it. And this is what our PDF looks like. So you can see it looks really, really nice. In fact, let's go back here. Uh, and I didn't add in a link, but this would, this would, if I hovered over it, if I did add a link, this would show. And I would be able to click on it, and it would take me to the particular page that I wanted to go to. But one other thing that I want to do was also show you the flipbook. So this is a, one of the features that's available as well. So when you open that up, now you have access to this and it operates just like a book. It's a virtual book. So I can turn the page and it even has some sound in it as well. And some of these links down here, they're all clickable. These, this is the link to my blog post. So you can add any kind of link that you want, but this is really, it's really neat. <laughs> I like it, it's simple, but it's really, really neat. I can, I can play it as well. There's an autoplay feature down here. I can stop it. I can even turn off the sound if I want to, or if I wanted to go full page mode, I can do that. So lots of different options. It just looks really, really good. And I'm really impressed by that. And you can tell it's, it's, it's simple to use, but keep in mind, simple does not mean it is easy. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to get acclimated to this. But overall, I really like, I really like designer and I think you're gonna like it too. All right, so let's talk about pricing. The front end offer, which is $27, that is a plan that I have, is called the standard plan. And you get access to 100 project templates. You can create unlimited eBooks, have access to unlimited use of their copyright free images. Obviously you can bring in your own too. You can use their page numbering and table contents generator. You can import from the web, Microsoft Word, and Google Docs. You can publish to PDF and Flipbook, and you can use their Flipbook generator from any PDF. You can have up to 10 of these Flipbooks, which is, to me, more than enough. Now, if you wanna go a little bit higher and you wanna unlock more features, then there's the Pro Plan, which is $97 per year. They have a Premium Plan, which is $297 per year, as well as an agency premium plan, which is $497 per year. And right now they're saying that the $297 per year, the, mo the premium plan is our most popular. The pro plan seems like it would be a great option because you really do get more project templates. You get the cover designs, you get a 3D cover image tool, which is available across the board for their higher tiered options. And you get all of these features right here. And the only thing that you're not gonna have is you're not gonna be able to publish to any website, create custom templates, have an ebook mock-up creator, and have video and audio transcription. Now, to me, the standard plan is good enough, but again, if you wanna upgrade to a different plan, then obviously, here are your three options. So what are my final thoughts about Designer? Well, at $27 one time, it's a great tool to have in your toolkit especially if you wanna be able to import your content into this app and design something that looks quite professional. You can take a blog post from your own website, Word document, 
Google document, or simply create your own from an existing template. You can create an unlimited number of eBooks, have unlimited use of copyright-free images, and you even have access to their animated flipbook creator. While you're limited to 10 hosted flipbooks, it's still a great feature to have. Now here's the rub though. You still have to do the work of customizing your own lead magnet or ebook. But overall, at $27, this is a solid investment, especially if you plan on using it. So there you have it, my review of Designer. Are you gonna pick up your copy? If you do, how do you plan to use it? Let me know by dropping your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to sign up for my number one recommendation for starting your online business. It's 100% free and 1000% awesome. This is Ken Furukawa of KenFurukawa.com and I'll see you in my next video.